Hey, I'm Silver Dollar, and this is Eron. Eron's a brand spanking new 2D platformer. So it's a pretty straightforward, you know, basic mechanic game. Um, you're basically this little character there who's like a native tribesman on this planet that is codenamed Eron. Uh, the c controls are pretty straightforward. All it is is uh, trigger to run, the other trigger to switch between these parallel worlds. Sort of that's what's happening there when you see the color change a little bit. Um, and then jump and then just your like joystick. So I'm using Xbox controller. You can also play with a keyboard. Um, I tried it for a few minutes with keyboard, but found it just really hard to be like holding down keys and at, and switching between keys on a keyboard. While like with a controller, you got the triggers and I don't know, it just seemed a little bit more natural. I'm not that, you know, not that good with a controller or anything, but definitely for this game, it, it seemed a lot easier. Um, yeah, gameplay's pretty straightforward. It's got really nice, like, art style. This is one of my favorite art styles. It uh, reminds me of Risk of Rain a little bit. That sort of, that style, just, you know, pixel, but, like, big canvas. Um, yeah, there's no shooting, though. That was the one thing I thought. I had this, like, cool-looking staff, so I thought I was going to be shooting or attacking enemies. Um, it's basically just a run and jumping game and then switching before the, between these two worlds. And it is probably the most frustrating uh, game I've played in quite a long time. It's just like, first it takes a while to get used to the whole uh, holding down a key and then jumping and then letting that key go for a split second and bring it back again. Um, I think the closest thing I could think of is, you know, like when you're a kid and someone says to uh, what, pat your head and rub your stomach. It's, you know, doing something like that where it's two actions um, that seem like counterintuitive. So it just, you definitely get used to it, but at first it was painful. This, this, I must have played about a hundred times. <laughs> I, first, it took me a while to figure out you could actually boost through those like black orb thingies. Um, but, and even if you go through it, you don't get the, you gotta, the trick was you gotta jump just as you're underneath the center of it. Um, and keep holding jump, and you kind of launch up really high. So I, I finally got it down, but I, oh, it took forever. I actually ended up um, tweeting the developer, <laughs> and <laughs> he asked me if I needed any help. And luckily, um, yeah, he, he messaged me just at the uh, the right time, I guess. So that was that was the only part that I you know I really got stuck on. Um, there were some definitely some other challenging parts. Um, but it was more just a matter of getting the, you know, the combos down. Um, basically, every level is, you know, preset. It's not procedurally generated. Um, and they've really made the levels, like, you know, perfect for the jumps and stuff. So, you know, it doesn't feel like there's a lot of different ways to do it. Um, it just feels like there's one right way, and it's difficult to do. This was, this took me a while to get to. You gotta boost up through the bottom one, switch the trigger, break the top, and then hold it again. So a lot of it, I don't know, for me, it a lot of it felt like muscle memory. Like you do it, you know, once or twice and mess up, and then when you go back, you finally get it. Um, so up till that first part, that was all just one straight, that was one straight run. Um, so you saw me die a few times. I didn't edit anything out of that first part of the playthrough, but that was my second time doing it. Uh, my very first time, I didn't bother recording, uh, it was just absolutely atrocious. Um, yeah, this level, I guess is level two, because the, you know, the background uh, and the style changes there. Uh, it starts out, you know, pretty easy, just the, the back and forth platforms. Then you have these, this new, this is sort of like a new little platform style, um, with those gates that kind of come back and forth. And the teleporters are sometimes in the middle of the levels too. I'll show you. There's probably one of those coming up soon. Um, yeah, this part wasn't that hard, but so, I don't know. Just sometimes the way they place the platforms and stuff, it you know, it, it just sort of tricks your head a little bit. But you definitely get used to it, um, and you know, you sort of get used to hitting the trigger quick. Uh, you'll probably hear. You should be able to hear the music pretty well throughout the video, and it's got pretty catchy. You know, pretty catchy music. It's got that sort of, uh, you know, old school, like, chiptune sound music a little. Um, 
and yeah it sounds you know it sounds really great it's pretty catchy i found it got stuck in my head a little bit afterwards probably because i i heard the same song you know a few hundred times but it's definitely uh you know it goes with the game it definitely makes you want to just keep running and jumping um and when you finally hit it like when you finally get it it definitely feels great it is sort of a rewarding game in that sense when you you know you get to the end so I found this game randomly. Um, I was actually just on Twitter, and I think the developer had said, you know, the game was free for a weekend, um, and I favorited it, and I meant to go get it when it was free, but I missed it. So I ended up downloading the demo. You can download the demo for free and just play it. Uh, and then after playing for a few minutes, I was like, okay, this is awesome. I'm definitely gonna do a video of it. Um, yeah, and there's not, you know, there's not a whole lot of games that I just come across randomly um, and really wanna play. <laughs> But, you know, this was one of them, and it wasn't like a case of the developer emailing me or, you know, anything like that. So, yeah, I just genuinely liked it. Ah, see, that, I missed the boost. That's what, some of these levels are frustrating. Um, this is where I'm, I'm cutting it up now, so I cut out the first part of the level again, because, you know, it's a pain to sort of see me go through that whole part again. Um, but this one was particularly tough, because they left the boost jump all the way to the end. So you only get basically one shot to you know, to do it perfectly, otherwise you gotta redo the entire level. And yeah, I uh, <laughs> I was dying a lot. I think on this run, I'm pretty sure I, I, I get it there. So yeah, the, the smaller black balls, um, they just blow up if you touch them. The larger ones, you have to destroy the larger ones. That's what makes it tricky, if you don't destroy them, if you don't destroy all of them, that red, uh, you know, chaos ball on the side there uh, won't disappear. Oh, yeah, that was a relief to finish that level. So yeah, you got more of these grid things here. Um, yes, again there, that's like another boost jump you gotta do. So it does take a while to, you know, to figure the level out, and you usually have to kind of play through at least a few times just to just to see the end and see what's coming up. Um, otherwise, you have no clue, no clue what's coming, and unless it's the you know the most basic stuff pretty easy to die. So this boost here was tough. Yeah, I was just like staring at that for a while because there's like, you gotta boost through the first ball, stand on top of the second one, drop down, don't get hit by the bomb, and break the one below it. And then, and then you're safe. And yeah, you start right back at the beginning. So it does, you know, do, luckily this wasn't too far into the level, but it was still pretty, pretty frustrating every time you got die, because you had to come, you know, all the way back up to that point again. And see, there's a good example where if you miss any of those large black balls, you're just, you know, you're screwed, you gotta, and sometimes you can't go back, so. Okay, this, sh hopefully this one's the run. If not, this is just like one where I'm like pulling out my hair. Yeah, those ones just <laughs> felt so good to hit. And this this stuff just confuses me because if you trigger too early, you know, you fall through the floor, so you gotta like jump, trigger, let go of the trigger so the platform rip ah yeah. <laughs> I was literally just like going crazy. <laughs> but I I persisted. So I kept you know, I kept pushing. <laughs> It's definitely, uh, yeah, I think, you know, it's definitely one of the better games that I've played like this. They've got a, just a good, you know, good art, good music, and pretty finely tuned. So the developer said, oh, okay, beat it, good. The developer said it's uh, coming out on Steam in about a month, so keep an eye on it. I think it's been uh, greenlit, greenlighted, whatever they say on Steam, um, and it's due out pretty soon. This part was hard too, these teleporters. Because <laughs> you gotta trigger, like, if you trigger too soon, you don't go through the first teleporter, and then you gotta trigger before um, you actually port through to the second one, I guess. It's just, yeah, confused me. I'm just, this stuff just makes me feel stupid. <laughs> this is me thinking. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> 
So yeah, I'll put all the links in the description, um, but I definitely encourage you, you know, check it out on Steam. I don't think they actually need the, the green light votes anymore, but if they do, you know, um, and you like it, give them, give them a vote, I guess. But yeah, definitely, you know, check the demo out, and for two bucks, like, I don't know if the price is going up um, when it's actually on Steam, but for two bucks, it's totally worth it, because um, I think, you know, people tend to charge uh, quite a bit more for games that seem you know, this involved and complete, like with full art, soundtrack, all that, so, yeah, it's a pretty good, you know, pretty good setup. I think this is the one that I get, yeah, you gotta break all those, make the platform appear, and, ah, oh, so many times I missed that, like, last jump. So, yeah, this is the third stage, and they introduce a whole new element, these, like, water air stream thingies, so... I uh, basically broke my controller at this point out of rage, <laughs> and yeah, that's it. Great game though, so check it out. Eron, S L V R D L L R.